friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and in Happy Learning we enjoy puzzles and riddles so much that we've come up with the idea of solving a puzzle with toothpicks. It's called the Fish's Puzzle. The first thing we're going to do is make a fish out of eight toothpicks. We get four toothpicks to make the body. Then we add two for the tail and two for the fins. <laughs> well done! Hello little fishy! Now, by moving only three toothpicks, we need to make our fish swim in the opposite direction. Take all the time you need Pause the video and don't worry if you can't solve it because later we're going to solve it together. Pause the video. Have you figured it out yet? I'm sure you have, so let's take a look. Hello little fishy. We already know that we need to move three toothpicks to make our fish move in the opposite direction. So if we move this one, this one, and this toothpick and then we place them here here and here that's it woohoo we've done it our fish is swimming in the opposite direction goodbye little fish it was easy peasy don't you think i love puzzles and riddles they're so much fun goodbye happy friends see you next time i hope you're always ready to learn Goodbye! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, happy friends! Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to solve a really curious mathematical riddle. But don't think it's going to be about subtracting, multiplying, dividing. No, no. Maths isn't just that, we use maths to develop our creativity and solve our everyday problems. I'm going to show you a little riddle called the ants crossing the bridge and we're going to solve it together. It's night time and four ants are being followed by a hungry ant eater. Suddenly, they come up to an old and narrow bridge. One of them has a light on its head, so they're all able to see. And she realises that the bridge is so old, only two ants can cross at a time. So they will be able to cross individually or in pairs. And they always need the light, because otherwise they can't see. The ant eater will take 17 minutes to get to where the ants are to eat them all. What can our ant friends do to save themselves? Let's see. You're the slowest and you're going to take 10 minutes to cross the bridge. You're going to take 5, you'll take 2 and because I'm the fastest, I will take 1 minute. And we only have one light and the ant eater is going to take 17 minutes to get here. What shall we do? These poor little ants need our help. We need to help them. So let's get our thinking caps on. But if you need more time to think about it, just pause the video. Have you figured it out yet? Let's take a look. So, if two ants go together, they will take the same time as the slowest ant. That's why ants one and two should go together. They've taken two minutes. Now, ants one goes back with the light. She takes one minute. That means that in total, they've taken three minutes. Who should cross the bridge now? So, Ant 1 gives the light to Ant 5. And this one travels to the other side with Ant 10. So, if we 
add these 10 minutes to the three we had before, we've taken 13 minutes. The ant that goes back with the lamp this time is going to be ant number two, who takes two minutes. So in total, they've taken 15 minutes. And the ant eater is about to arrive. So the ants that we've got left are the ants one and two. And they will take, of course, two minutes. And if we add the two minutes to the 15 we had before, we have a total of 17 minutes. Woohoo! Yes, we've saved our ants. And it's all thanks to our maths. The truth is, maths are so much fun and they're so helpful too. Goodbye friends, see you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to solve a very curious riddle. We'll use our common sense to solve it. It's logical. We're going to solve the riddle of the fox, the hen and the corn cobs. The riddle is easy peasy. Let's take a look. A farmer wants to take a fox, a hen and various cobs over to his neighbour's house. The problem is that the neighbour lives on the other side of the river and the farmer can only fit himself and one other thing on his boat. Well, he can't leave the fox and the hen because the fox will surely eat the hen. But he can't leave the cobs with the hen because the hen will eat all of the cobs. So what can the farmer do? How can he make sure that nobody eats anything? Because you need time to think, make sure you pause the video and we'll solve the riddle together after you've come up with ideas. Have you figured it out yet? I'm sure you have. Let's solve it together. The first thing that the farmer has to do is cross over with the hen. That means that he's leaving the fox and the cobs behind. And as we all know, foxes don't like corn, so he won't eat them. Then the farmer will go back to get the fox. This time, when he crosses over, he will leave the fox but pick up the hen again. Why? Because otherwise, the fox will surely eat the hen. <gasps> this way, he can leave the hen, pick up the corn and leave it on the other side with the fox. Then, the farmer needs to cross by himself to get the hen and this time he'll cross one last time and mission accomplished we've got the hen the fox and the corn cobs all safe and sound to the neighbor's house the truth is if we use our common sense think calmly and clearly and never ever give up i'm sure that we will solve so many problems don't you think Goodbye happy friends, I hope you're always ready to learn. See you next time. Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.